Did you know, Mason, before this current sequel trilogy, there were a slew of expanded universe materials that worked off the Skywalker saga into all manner of adventures? Yes. I'll not be answering any follow-up questions. <laughs> okay. The one that I want to talk about today relates to The Rise of Skywalker because both of them deal with the return of the Emperor himself. But he's dead. But not in this. Oh. For long. Or maybe he is. Oh. We'll talk about it at the end because oh. there's a bit of a twist on this whole story, it turns out. Anyways, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be great. That wouldn't be a twist. That would be a straight up good guy or girl thing to do or not do, but do it. You've got mad. I know. Okay, so this was conceived of in 1988 and released in 1992. Six issues. Four uh, years. Yeah. Well, it takes time. you got to draw the characters. I get you right, you got to draw them. That's true. <laughs> uh, it's by Tom Veitch and Cam Kennedy. And this is set six years after the Battle of Endor. So the Emperor has been destroyed. Darth Vader is dead. The uh, Ewoks have peed on his grave. That's right. So Luke and Lando were stranded on the war-torn planet of Coruscant. So Leia, Han and Chewie are on the way to rescue them because what's happening at the Imperial City where this is, there's a big civil war between the remnants of the Empire, right? Oh, uh, yeah. The Falcon zipping through. There's amazing animations to accompany that. <laughs> I did these ones. That's why they don't look that good. Oh, no. <laughs> they say, don't they, if you're making an animation and putting it on YouTube, start with your weakest animation. <laughs> totally. So this is where we're reintroduced to Luke Skywalker. He steps out, he wrecks and battle droids. An at, -AT attacks, right? Mm -hmm. But he's got a force shield around him, so it just kind of pings off him, and then he just brings it down with a force. Oh, now this is the Luke Skywalker everybody was hoping for. You know it. Post the original trilogy. But that being said, there are a lot of parallels between this and The Last Jedi Luke. Hey, does he ever, does he ever like, they think... It's Luke Skywalker, so they attack him, but he's actually not there. Like a coward. <laughs> he's on another planet. Okay. Without giving anything away, Luke Skywalker projects himself three to four times in this comic. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there's, there's, so there's precedent. There's precedent. For him being a coward. <laughs> That's like right. in The Last Jedi. I'm just kidding. Just so people know, and you can leave your comments... We like The Last Jedi. Put him in there. <laughs> to put him in there. I like the engagement. We I don't read it, but I like seeing that number of comments go up. So this is when a big force storm kind of rolls in and it lifts up him and R2. So everyone who's not Luke and R2-D2 return to the Rebel base. They have old Imperial ships now that they've repurposed. Anyway, Mon Mothma's there. She's like, you remember me from Return of the Jedi, yes? And everyone's like, yes, we've all seen Return of the Jedi. <laughs> That's we, right. all, we all remember you. We've lived it. It turns out that Mon Mothma's saying that there's bad Imperial stuff happening. They're rallying. There's purpose behind them. They're coming together. There's leadership there, but they don't know what's going on. So she mentions that they've got a, a new weapon. They're called World Crushers. They're basically a series of large ships that come down and they suck up all the stuff and like consume a planet. Reverse Death Star. That's right. And what Admiral Akbar says, he goes, this is more dangerous than the Death Star. But it's not. Because it oh, so it's less dangerous. I would say so, because it's on... Act by you coward. Put him on the <laughs> list of cowards. <laughs> so it turns out that they're on Mon Cala. It can't be more dangerous if you can spend many days kind of rallying your forces and get there and still win. Anyway. I feel if the Death Star could destroy it, mm. it's less powerful than Agreed. the Death Star. So Luke is on an Imperial dungeon ship being transported to the dark side planet called Bis. So he walks into the throne room and who happens to be there? He's back big time. It's the Emperor. <gasps> he's as old as he ever was. Uh, he mentions that it's not the first time that he's died, and we see his dong later. I'm really excited for that. <laughs> You're going to see my dong later. It's going to be really exciting. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. It basically highlights that every time his body kind of withers and dies because of all the dark side energy within it, he jumps to a clone. He's done it multiple times. Who knows how long he's been alive? Because yeah. this is pre-prequels, isn't it? In this continuity, mm. it wasn't just Ian McDermott being the head of the Senate yeah. 50 years ago. They knew kind of that he was a politician that was corrupt. Yeah, right, right. That was all... So this version is revealed. maybe like thousands, hundreds of years old. Potentially, years yeah. Old. Right, right, right. So he goes, why don't you join me, Luke Skywalker? Last time you didn't want to join me, but how about this? I'll, I'll sweeten the deal. You can have the world devastator ships you can be in charge of that that's pretty rad and as he's kind of explaining this you see r2 like quietly hand luke his lightsaber he's like you fucking you want this <laughs> i'm just gonna uh I'm just gonna leave this here but what luke decides to do is challenge the dark side from within and he kneels for the emperor right so not a fight no not yet coward's move exactly and at the same time leia realizes that something is wrong because she's like oh no luke's done some kneeling right now she's also got the force that's right she's also got the force and this is all about her growing as a jedi etc and so forth oh yeah uh, around this time though lando akbar and the rebel fleet arrive at mon Cala and they get beaten real badly lando's like things are as bad now as they've ever been and etc and so forth his famous catchphrase yes <laughs> that trench run of the death star things are as bad now as they've ever been yeah 
What do you think, Nyan Nam? I don't speak English, she says. <laughs> I can't help you. Why did they pair us together? I don't know. <laughs> this has been confusing from minute one. <laughs> then a vision of Darth Vader appears to Princess Leia. He's also bloody dead. Yes, but turns out it's Luke projecting himself and he's appearing as Darth Vader, just like Luke can do in The Last Jedi. He can make himself look and appear younger. There's precedent. And he's like, don't come after me. I'm doing some stuff. And then she collapses, right? Mm -hmm. After she wakes up, they decide to go and get Luke. They stop by Nar Shaddaa, which is like, like a smuggler's kind of situation. They've also got bounties on them because Princess Leia strangled Jabba the Hutt to death. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, I remember that. that. No, yeah, I yeah. do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, remember yeah, that. yeah, yeah. yeah. We've all seen Return of the Jedi, including everybody in this comic. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> They're all just leaving the cinema like, son of a bitch. <laughs> so Hard's old friend Mako lets them in. Is he Shark Man? But he's an old smuggling buddy. Maybe Shark's the right word for it though, Mason. They also meet his ex-girlfriend, Sala. So Leia stopped by this crazy old, and by crazy old I mean like she's crazy and she's crazy old, old woman. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, I used to be a Jedi, but I betrayed the Jedi. Anyway, here's this. And she gives her a case and inside the case. A gun. Like, <laughs> Just a regular gun from Earth. <laughs> Inexplicable. <laughs> I wish it was. Oh, okay, right. uh, It's a lightsaber. Oh, you're yeah, fine. Whatever. It's her light. And then she disappears. A duh. So they go to Han's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. I did not misspeak. You did not miss here. Uh, he hasn't been there for like a decade. His cleaning droid is still there called ZZ. He's like, ZZ, why haven't you cleaned up my apartment like at all? He's left all? coffee cups in the sink. Pretty much, yeah. But then ZZ says, oh, by the way, a Mr. Fett is here to see you. Oh my goodness, nice. Boba Fett. Uh, his friend Mako the shark betrayed him, it turned out. Also, Dengar is there. What do you think of that? The droid is killed in the shootout. Uh, they're saved by uh, Han's ex-girlfriend. Boba Fett's following them. He's like, their ship's no match for Slave 2, my new ship. Uh, don't get too attached. He's, he's gone soon. Leia then has a vision of Luke controlling the Imperial fleet. And the Imperial fleet is like currently eating up that rebel Star Destroyer. It's like, num, 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 I love this. Mm -hmm. uh, the battle's still going on in Mon Cala. It's not important. I'm cutting a lot of that out. It's a time thing, all right? <laughs> it's just ships flying around and people going, what are we going to do, Lando? You get it. Anyway, those big imperial ships they start shutting down and the rebels realize it's not them because they're, they're crap at this it's sabotage could it be luke yep I reckon it, it is luke it you're is luke. correct yeah, that's nice, right nice. Yeah. so han chewie and leia they arrive on bis uh slave to his right behind them uh sala's codes the ex-girlfriend gets them past the defenses boba fett does not and he just gets shot out of the sky and that's he's gone a classic Boba Fett entry. Is, I mean... Uneventful. So Princess Leia uh, lands the ship on the Emperor's cool new base. It's pretty cool and evil. You know what I mean? They meet up with Luke. So they're like, Leia, give over your bloody lightsaber that you've got. And she's like, never. She lights it up. She's ready to battle. And the Emperor just destroys it. Just like explodes it in her hand. Luckily, she still has that gun. <laughs> I know, right? So the Emperor's like, uh, everyone else stay here. Princess Leia, come with me to my bed chambers. I'm going to show you some crazy force stuff. You're going to shit bricks. It's incredible, right? <laughs> You're going to love it. I'm just lifting dialogue. Is this a sex thing? What's going on? It's not a sex okay, thing. Okay, right. So the Emperor lays out his plan to Leia in his bedroom. He's like, listen, uh, I know Luke is sabotaging the fleet, but that's all fine. It's all part of my plan because you're actually the key to my survival and the Empire. Uh, he hands her an ancient Jedi holocron and it's got ancient Jedi knowledge and Leia loves it. She's like, I fucking love this. This is great. And then he's like, give it back. Give it back. Uh, and can you please help me into my bed? Because I'm about to transfer into a new body. This is so weird. I, I know, like it. right? I don't, I don't know what to tell you. He's like, oh, by the way, uh, you're pregnant with a child. It's got the force. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in that child. That's going to be me. That's where I'm going to put my new This is Leia and Han's child, one would assume. Yes, correct. Oh, yes. Okay. So what Leia does, though, that she then tips him out of his bed. But he's like, everything is going well. As she runs out of the room, he's like... I'm oh. actually laughing about yeah, this. Yeah, that's right. But then he's like, wait a minute, she stole that holocron that I gave her. And then when Leia comes back, Luke reveals that uh, he's hid the plan, the Emperor's plan, in R2. So anyway, they're rescued by Sala, everyone escapes, even Luke. Once they're in hyperspace, Luke's like, by the way, I'm not really here. I'm still on Biss. See you later. Boom, he's gone. Luke goes back to the Emperor and he says, I don't like you. I don't like this situation. He starts hacking into his clones, right? He knows if he destroys the clones, mm -hmm. it's all over. But the Emperor is already in a clone body and it's cool and young and naked. Yeah, nice. You don't see any kind of dong situation. I don't know whether it's not developed or whether it's just the way that it's drawn. It's all, it's all Ken doll, all down there. No wonder he's always trying to conquer the universe. That's right. Is this the first nude lightsaber fight? Oh, they're both nude. No, <laughs> <laughs> Coming to my bed chambers, we'll have a nude lightsaber it's fight. Be fine. So he goes, now that you're back under my control, let's go get your sister's baby so I can be a baby. Anyway, they shut down all the devastators. R2 takes control of them and they all crash into each other or whatever. And they're like, good job. Then the holocron tells Leia a prophecy. 
And to summarize, he's like, uh, you and Luke, um, you, you're a great force in the galaxy or whatever, and this is and just kill the Emperor. Do that. <laughs> yeah, right. You know? Anyway, the Emperor's ship appears out of hyperspace, and he's like, Luke's with me, give me Princess Leia, and I'll leave everyone else alone, and I'll get out of here. So Leia goes alone, and then Luke and Leia have a brief fight. But then Luke gives her the eye, and he's like, I've gone too far with this dark side stuff. I've... I'm in over my head here, I need help with the force and all this kind of situation. He's like, I only converted to the dark side because I want to understand why Vader did it. Anyway, the Emperor is very unhappy with this and him and- I'm very unhappy with this, he says. <laughs> yes, right. And there's a lightsaber fight and Luke chops off his hand. Luke chops off his own hand. No, he chops off the Emperor's hand. Cool. I agree. That's a classic Star Wars move, by the way. That's right. It's got all the Star Wars stuff you love. A Boba Fett goofing around. A regular human gun. <laughs> A hand being cut off. Mm -hmm. It's got it all. So the Emperor then summons his Force Storm back. Oh, that's where it came from. It's gonna, it's gonna envelop everybody, but then Luke and Leia combine their forces, and because it breaks his kind of dark side protection, the storm then consumes the Emperor. And uh, it's one of those things where there's, it's one of those finales where there's a lot of swirling force stuff. That's exactly what it is. And if you believe in yourself, you're yeah. a winner. Now I get it. Anyway, there's a big picture of him looking like a Dracula being consumed by a storm. It's very Dracula. <laughs> It's got a big collar and everything. <laughs> well, I've written here, uh, this is my note, he dies like a big Dracula. <laughs> so they escape, the Emperor's ship is consumed, uh, Luke realises the power of teamwork, Luke says something like, we've done it, the Jedi will rise again. This is when he decides to start the new Jedi order, order. but also there's two sequels to this comic where the Emperor returns. The end! Alright, good! You've, we've all done it, haven't we've we? We've all done it! We've all done it, incredible. I like so this. he just comes back again? Yeah. How? Clones. More clones. He gets in more clones. I mean, he should have just done that, I reckon. Look, I read him a long time ago. Maybe we <laughs> okay, can right? come back to him, but does yeah, everyone yeah. really want the trilogy of the Emperor coming back in various clones? Do you want us to do that? Don't make me, is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, right, then <laughs> yeah. no. Anyway, the original idea for this comic, though, was to have an imposter of Darth Vader show up in his armor or replica of inspiring like fear in the galaxy. But George Lucas was like, don't do that. Why don't you bring back the Emperor through cloning? So that's where this came from, right? Just George Lucas saying, yeah. you should you should just do that. So yeah, that's, that's this story. I don't mind it. I like these kind of weird retro legend Star Wars comics, like the mm -hmm. early day stuff where they're just starting to expand the universe. Do you think that any of this could or should have been incorporated into the new trilogy? Well, potentially. I know J.J. Abrams had the idea for The Force Awakens to bring in a Darth Vader imposter. That could have come Which from Which I this. guess turned into Kylo Ren in some Yeah, aspects, exactly, right? yeah. The idea of Force projection, obviously. Mm. Boba Fett returning, like there's hints of that in the universe still, obviously. There's yeah. a bunch of stuff in here which which does show its face. Yeah, anyways, this is Caravan of Garbage. We do this every week. We've actually done a trilogy of Star Wars things leading up to this. Also, if you love the old Star Wars canon, I've done a retrospective on Shadows of the Empire if you want to check it out. It's got sweet-ass animation and artwork and a bunch of stuff going on. It's 34 minutes long. Is that too long? Sure. Sure. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyways, though, if you do have a suggestion for Caravan of Garbage, it could be an old Star Wars thing. It could be literally anything at all. Video game, comic, movie, TV show. Leave it in the comments. Also, what do you think of this comic? You read it? Is it good? Are the sequels good? Tell us. Also, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. And because The Rise of Skywalker is hitting cinemas, we, of course, will have a Monday morning episode on that. Non-spoilers, then spoilers come along. How does it compare to this? Anyways, I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Thanks, everybody, very much. Grab that, Jamie, guys. We'll see you next week. Good Goodbye.